Hello and welcome to yet another quick tutorial and in this one we are going to try and set up multiple cameras and how to navigate them and also how to be able to set your renders to render all cameras. So Blender has a default way of doing it but uh, there's a plugin or an add-on that um, is out there by Rix called the Camera Lister. It's a very, very handy tool that um, gives you the ability to navigate and really set up multiple cameras so easily in your scene. So in this one, we are going to have a quick look at it and then uh, see how you can, you know, get to install it and also use it on in Blender. So uh, I've updated to the latest one, 3.3. I'll leave a li link in the description so you can have a go at it. But um, I'm going to show you the link to Rex's uh, camera lister so we can have a look at it. So here we are at GitHub and what we're going to do is we're going to download the zip file in which case I've already done so on my machine but uh, you can go ahead and then uh, do so. So you will click on download zip and once you are done we will move uh, to our explorer where we're going to you know show the place where we're going to install it because i don't know recently most add-ons you try to use blender to install them it kind of gives you funny um they don't kind of seem to work so we will have to do this manually through the uh, explorer so let's go there so now that we've done downloading what you will find is your camera lister master so wherever you download it on your machine you'll find the zip file the camera's lister master then what you do is you would unzip it which will create this uh, folder the camera lister master so the way we'll go about it is to move over to our program files we'll find in blender foundation blender 3.3 Go to 3.3 then scripts and we'll dump it into the add-ons add-ons folder over here so what we'll just do is just quickly um, pick it up from our documents let me just quickly uh, load it from where i normally download my add-ons so i'll just pick camera lister master then we'll head over back to our scripts folder and we'll just put this here so now that that is done we will switch back over to blender to install this so we are back at blender and we are going to try and install the plugin one more time so i'll head over to my preferences and what we we're going to do is we're going to search out for the camera lister. So if you do not find it over here, now that we've copied it onto our folder over there, what we're going to do is now we will come to install and we'll pick the file. In which case, we're just going to pick it from the place where I just added the black, the I downloaded it so it was linked directly to it so I'll just click on install add-on so we'll give it a moment now it shows camera lister so what we do is we just enable it and we are good to go now to activate the plugin the way we go about it is to hit alt c now you're given this dialog box with some few options in here which we'll go over quickly so as you hover your mouse over it where we get here is the render active scene render active scene with this i think you're going to render this as an animation then you want to preview or show hide your render view and also when you want to render or set your render region these two ev and cycles will be a uh, render engine that you would want to um, use so if you want to render in ev you can just set it here and if you want to render in cycles, you just set it here. So when we head over to the C cycle selected, we come back to Alt C. Once we hit EV, it changes to EV. So the way we're going to do this is 
let's say for example we want to set up our camera at the entrance over here let's say so maybe i'll put my camera in here what i'll do is just select all c add camera to view and instantly we have a camera set up so when we have a look at our layers camera 2 is set up there's an already existing camera within it so maybe we'll just push this into the collection just so we can keep everything neatly so we have camera 2 so let me just select that so whatever um, cameras to add will come directly to our collection so we have a camera here so i can go ahead and then select this camera and then change certain properties to just give it a bit of view then whatever settings you can do you can have this camera set up over here so let's say i want to also stand by this door and maybe put a camera in here so i'll hit my alt c add camera to view we have our third camera let me change my focal length so we have our camera in here let's say we also want to have one here at our reception so again i'll hit alt c add camera to view maybe change this to much more wider okay let me go 15. okay so let me just add my roof so that it does in here so if you want to switch in between multiple uh within the multiple cameras all you do is just hit let me just come out here now that's i'm out of the camera view if you realize when I hit the Alt C, it didn't give me the options. I have to be outside of the camera to be able to have access to them. So now we have all these cameras in here. So if I want to switch to the first camera, which is the one that was already in the scene, which is the first camera, you just click on it and it moves you, which was the top view. So if I want to, I just come out again, Alt C, hit the second camera and I'm over there. If I also want to access the others, I come over to Alt C and I'm in here. So that is how you want to quickly be able to set up your cameras. So whichever angles you have, depending on your project, you can set up as many uh, cameras that you would want in your scene. Now, we have set up our camera. Now let's say we want to render all individual cameras, but at one go. Blender has a way of doing it by adding markers to your timeline and on on, it, on frames, and then setting or binding your cameras to those uh, specific frames for each of the cameras. Which um, yeah, it's handy, but this plugin makes it a step much more easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our timeline. And let me pull that up here. We delete this keyframe. So we have a total of, we ignore the first camera, but let's just play around with the three cameras over here. We're going to bind each of these cameras to, let's say three frames. So the first one will be the, for the first camera, second camera, and for the first camera, the second frame for the second camera, the third frame for the last camera or the third camera. So depending on how many cameras you want to set up, you can go as many as you'd want to do or whichever ways you'd want your animation to play. So maybe from frame 1 to 20 should be on camera 1. Then maybe from 21 to 40 or 60 should be camera 2. So that is when you are working on animations. You can actually bind them to these uh, frames. But for the purposes of our tutorial, we're just going to bind them per each frame over here so what we're going to do is we are going to switch over to our plugin then the way to do so is just clicking on this icon here bind camera marker so what is done is it sets up the camera in frame one we come to frame two 
we will do so again and we'll bind the second one to that camera and then lastly we will go to frame 3 alt c and then bind the, this camera so if we have a zoom in so let's just zoom in so we zoom in so each of the frames now we have we have a camera assigned to it so let's say we are to head into our camera view let's switch over to our camera view this is frame two now frame one frame two and frame three so what this would give us the option to do is that we can render only these three frames and you will have each of them render out for the camera which we're going to do right away and i'll pause the video so that the computer can take its time to just render these scenes out and we'll be back soon with them but yeah maybe we'll just go ahead and then just do the setup for the animation itself so we'll set the frame start at one and the end frame at three camera is at 1920 let me check my okay i'll set it up to render in cycles gpu let's give a render of 128 and the noise optics since we're using an nvidia graphics card okay so we have everything intact and all we just do now is just hit render animate but before that yeah sorry let me change my change the where i want it to save so in this case i'll just create a folder within my blender and just give it uh, rendered images and let's say trial render so it hits setup so it render it's going to render into this folder so all we just do is say render animation so we're going to give it some bit of time and let it render and then we'll be done soon so we have our renders finally done and to just view them you just go to view animation and there we have it all three animations are rendered or frames rendered so uh, this is a very very powerful tool and it helps uh, be able to streamline a lot of uh, camera issues that if you are dealing with multiple cameras within your scene and this is very helpful if maybe you want to maintain your view but then make changes to your scene such that you won't uh, have to um, be always be fidgeting with the camera this is a very handy tool that you can use and it also gives you a lot of abilities to make use of when you are doing animations also so this is a quick um, overview of a very handy uh, add-on i will leave the link in the description so you can have a go at it this has been a very uh, wonderful, wonderful quick uh, guide on the camera lister add-on. Thank you, Rix. You can find him on blenderartist.org. You've created a very powerful tool that will help us to work on our scenes a bit more efficiently. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.